right, so a recent survey showed that 90% of the people in this country use some type of electronic device at least a few nights a week within an hour of going to bed. And Diane Atwood, writer of the blog Catching Health, is here to tell us why we need to change our ways. Right, yes. Diane? Do you know that I would take mine under the covers at night so I wouldn't <laughs> wake up my husband? Isn't that terrible? I don't think you're alone. I think a lot of people do that. Yes, and I am definitely one of those 90 percenters. I talked myself into believing that if I just read a few articles on the phone, that would help me to relax and get to sleep, but I wasn't doing myself any favors. So when you're on your cell phone, your iPad, your computer, Charlotte and my cat sitting in front of the computer, um, or you're watching TV, playing video games, you are exposing yourself to artificial light. And artificial light prevents the body from releasing the hormone melatonin, which regulates our sleep patterns. And um, simply put, when it's dark, your body produces more melatonin so you can sleep, and when it's light, it produces less so that you can wake up. And any kind of artificial light can suppress melatonin, but blue light, which is emitted by all of our electronic devices, mm -hmm. has the strongest effect. And not only does melatonin help us sleep, but it also apparently helps to fight infections. And there's some preliminary research that shows that it may also, low levels of melatonin may contribute to cancer, diabetes, heart, to be, heart disease, and obesity. So not good to suppress the, the production of melatonin. So I have a few tips on how to lower your exposure to blue light. So turn off all those brightly lit screens at least an hour before going to bed. That's for your kids, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, use dim red lights, they have longer wavelengths, for night lights. And if you work the night shift, you have to use electronic devices at night. You come in to do the morning report at what, one, two o'clock in the morning. You might consider getting these special glasses or goggles that block blue light. Okay, all right. And some people might be wondering about whether or not you should use melatonin supplements. Mm -hmm. Have you ever? I have never tried it. Someone actually told me once that if you work an odd shift that sometimes taking melatonin can be counterproductive. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that it's more complicated than just popping melatonin. It, yes. It is. And I would never rush to just popping something. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would try some of these conservative measures. If you're on your phone, put it away and talk to your doctor before you try any medication. You might have a bona fide sleep problem mm -hmm, that needs. Mm -hmm. Now, something that will help me to get to sleep tonight is if you go to dianeatwood.com, the blog, <laughs> and sign up for my monthly Catching Health newsletter. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And I hope you always put your devices away and yeah. that your kids will finally do it, too. Pull out the good old-fashioned book and read a couple chapters. Yeah, instead. under the covers <laughs> with a <the> flashlight. <laughs> we have to take a quick break and we'll recap the morning top stories just ahead.